What's up, guys? We are back with another Kaizo Mario playthrough. Uh, this one uh, called Cute as Shell. Also a more beginner category hack, so we're going to try to play through this all in one sitting without any editing. Um, and I'm pretty excited to play this. So this is uh, made by the creator Slopcore, uh, and they've made um, other hacks called uh, Cute Kaizo World and Cuter Kaizo. Uh, both really great hacks, uh, like beginner level. Um, and I played through them a while back, and I really, really enjoyed them. Um, as well as uh, the more intermediate hack, Dancer... Uh, what is it called? Dancer to a Discordant System. Um, that one I have not finished, but I've played about four or five levels of it. Um... Definitely more of an intermediate hack and a uh, really fun hack so far, but that's kind of one I'm still playing in the background. Um, but yeah, super excited to play this. Really enjoyed the cute Kaizo games and ready to see what this one has to offer. Uh, I don't think it's a super long hack. I think it has like about 10 exits as advertised. So let's check it out. Do shell jump, please. Okay. Opus, opus. I love the little opening. So that was something that um, a slop court put in the cuter Kaizo. Press pause button to see the current song being played. Thanks, Benefic. Thanks, Benefic. Valley fourth Kirby mass attack port by Millen Luxy. That's really cool. Oh boy. Eee! <laughs> All right, good start. Ooh. Boom. Oh. Oh, I killed him. Oh, he doesn't respond back, does he? No, he does not. You know, I, I never played through uh, Dram World 2, but I did beat the first level. Uh, I think the first like two or the first two levels, I beat at Dram 2. And I always, I, and one thing I learned is that when you kill an enemy, they're gone. Oh my god, how did I mess that up? Pretty much the first level of Dram 2 requires, um, requires, like, killing the enemy and then backtrack, or backtracking, killing the enemy, and then going forward so they don't, like, respawn. So that, that level alone, with its, like, weird gimmick, helped me learn about enemies. Okay. What we got? Uh, I might have needed that shell. I definitely needed that shell. Okay. Yeah, Dragon 2 is a hack I'm gonna have to play eventually, probably. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I, I haven't really played too many expert hacks, though. Or any, really. I mean, I guess... You know, categories for Kaizo is kind of weird. You know, I always say expert hack, beginner hack, intermediate, but, you know, it, it is kind of all, like... Th there's no, like, definitive, like, oh, this is what makes a hack beginner or expert. Generally... Oh, my God. I don't know why I keep screwing that up. Generally, what I've noticed between, like, a beginner and an intermediate hack... Um, is that you're just spending less time on levels. Unless you're bad like me and you just keep messing this up. Um, yeah, intermediate hacks, you're going to be spending more time to just beat levels. Like, for sure. Expert hacks, I've spent the most time. Okay. There we go. GG. Yeah, I haven't... I don't think I've really completed, like, an expert hack yet. Um, but I have played a bit of Grand Pool World. I finished Celeste 100% and Dram 100%. So those are... Those kind of go into the expert category a little bit. But yeah. Oop. Been loving... 
you know, getting better with playing a lot of intermediate stuff, though. Ooh! Okay, I think I see what to do here. So I think we're going to want to kick that shell back and then jump on the snake. Like so? Yeah, like that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Ah, man. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I needed that. I needed that. I really love the cute aesthetic in these cute hacks, man. I'm a fan of the cuteness. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I was looking at the shell. I can make that, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. I think I'm... Okay, I'm good. Ooh, I think I messed up, dude. Yeah. Make sure my recording's looking okay. Okay, I think it's better. Sorry about that. Ooh. Ooh, easy. GG. Shells in the sky. Okay. Boom. Uh. Ooh, okay. Uh, what? I'm missing something here? Huh. Am I crazy or is there... Am I missing something? Oh, I like the song. What is this? Love, Escalator, Snow White, Moon, by Millen Luxie. Okay. Oh, did I kill the background when I did that? <laughs> I think I did. Am I supposed to do that? I think I need the mushroom. I get it. I think I get it. <laughs> this is tricky. I was like, what am I doing? I see what you gotta do. You gotta do this. Oh! Something like that. Very tricky. Boom. Woo! Okay, wait, what is going on here? So the shell is going down. Um, I think I just need to survive. I think I just need to jump over the shells, because there's multiple, right? And wait for that mushroom to come in. 
Use the mushroom and damage boost on the munchers. I think that's what's going on. Ooh, I hit that kind of far. Now we're good. Okay. Boom, boom. Hopefully I didn't need one of those. I'm very well might have. Alright, what do we got? No, I messed up the shell jump, man. Are you kidding me? I guess it's pretty cute to mess up shell jumps, right? Boom. Boom. There we go. GG. Block Break Badlands. Um, what am I looking at here? Okay. We're gonna have to do something like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, let's scope it out. Um, something like this? I wonder if I have to hit these blocks underneath. There's a lot going on here. Okay. Like, I definitely need the mushroom, but I just want to see what's going on. Oh, yeah, here we go. And that's the end of the level. Okay, so we just need to get here with the mushroom, and then we're, we're golden. Oh, come on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Ooh, okay, wait, what is going on here? So that's a bunch of nothing. If you, if you have the mushroom and you, you know, if you're actually good and you have the mushroom, if you land on that, you're going to be bouncing around. So that's why you have to throw the shell and then bounce off the saw. Okay. I was, I, did, I wasn't tracking that. Ah. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Okay. That's tricky. Little tricky, little tricky. Ah, come on, man. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just not used to writing saws as, like, Big Mario. <sighs> Almost. I think, yeah, you might have to actually hit all of those blocks, maybe? No, man. That was almost it. I'm so bad at trying to balance on, like, spin jumps. I've been getting better, but I feel like i have uh, not really proficient at that yet. No! Oh, that's why the green coin is there. Got it. The green coin is there, because then that will happen. Like, pretty much, I think I threw the shell too early. I threw it too late there. If you throw it too early, it's going to hit that yellow block and make it spin, and you fall. Oh my god. I think we're good. Woo! Oh, wow. How did I mess that up, dude? So pretty much here, we just do this, right? Wait, what? 
What happened? It didn't hit the block? Did it do the all, um, I think it did the all, uh, the all, like, dram thing where, like, you're off screen so it doesn't, like, hit the block. The old dram's, dram's butthole trick. Ah, come on. Oh, what am I doing? I'm already on tilt, man. No, not good. Man. Uh... I forget, so, okay, if you throw the shell while spinning, I don't know if it's random. I think there's, I think vanilla, okay, if you, if you look in a direction, I think it throws a shell. I just remember from Quickie World 1, uh, okay, they were fine. Yeah, I think I said to actually aim it. For some reason, I thought, like, it wasn't a thing. Quickie World 1, I think it's random. It's like not patched, if I recall. Ooh! Thought I messed that up for a second. GG. But yeah, Quickie World 1, I think if you're spinning and you're holding a shell and you toss it, I think it's random which direction you throw it in. But it looks like in this level it's not the case. If you, if you aim, then you'll throw the shell in that direction. Heavenly hops. Give it a bop, give it a bop, oops, give it a bop, give it a ooh. Uh, what? What am I doing here? What? What the heck? I'm so confused. What just happened? Oop. Hold on. What did, what did I do here? I'm so confused. What? Did I make the game like lag or something? Like I, I I don't I generally don't understand what's going on here. So I hit both of these blocks at the same time. I'm super confused. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so the shell down there is going to hit the switch, and I need to hit that switch above uh, while the shell hits it, so it changes back. Like, pretty much while I'm in midair, I need to, like, Manipulate that. Oh, I want to understand what's going on here. I got, I, I, I have n no understanding of this. So they turn green. I think if I hit both of them, it makes it lag. I'm so confused. Maybe I have to, like, hit it immediately? What? Oh, wow.
Wait. What? Okay. <laughs> GG. Dude, I did not understand the beginning of that level at all. I still don't understand it. If it's like some kind of like glitch or trick or something, like I've never seen it. Not soul, not soul, not so ultra cute. Okay. Oh boy. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, I need the shell. I need the shell. There we go. Ah! It's always better to jump when I throw it. Dude, what? Okay. Okay, that was just dumb. Dude, I don't know why I'm not grabbing it. Maybe don't jump. What do you do there? Uh, I guess you just hang on the left? I'm, I'm not really seeing what you do there. Yeah, something like that. I just need better momentum. Um, okay, yeah. Jump, throw the shell, then you're gonna shell jump off that, grab the rope, jump, and then jump off of that red shell. Is that a disco shell? I can't, I didn't really notice. Might just be a normal shell. But it also might be a disco. Ah, it is a disco, okay. It is indeed a disco shell. Ah, okay, that's the right idea, though. That's the right idea. No, that's not the right idea. <laughs> Do it way too soon. Oh boy, what the heck? I didn't hold up. I wish there was a way I could show my inputs. I don't think there's anything on the analog pocket that would show that, because I'm, I'm playing on an analog pocket. Ooh. No, oh, come on! I've gotten so much better at disco shells too, I, I thought I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's go, man. GG. 
Yeah, you know what's funny? I, I feel like I got a lot better with Disco Shells when I um, was fighting Kamek at the end of Invictus. Bounty Blizzard. Yeah, like... I think my fight took... I don't even remember now. It was like about 8 hours to beat Kamek my first time. And... Um... I... I Definitely, like, my hardest, my biggest struggle was the, the disco show part. I, got, I think I spent so much time on that. But afterwards, I was definitely a lot better with disco shells. Dude, what is going on? So the shell is on top of, like, a dinosaur? I guess that's why they call it Bounty Blizzard, right? Can you see, like, the sprite? Yeah, you kind of can. There's, like, a little eyeball sticking out the type of the, the shell. Ooh, this song is cool too, man. What is this? Chrono Trigger. Scala and Janus, remixed by a composer. Dude, sick song. Ah. Um. But yeah, I, ha I had a total, like. Uh, I always think of, like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure at the end of, um, part three. You know, the old, uh. The old classic JoJo Dio fight. Or at the end, he, like, he gets the ability to stop time. Spoilers. Sorry. Spoilers. Uh, I kind of feel that like when I beat Invictus, it was like I had the ability to ride disco shells after. Um, and I had another experience too with that. I, I beat Super Glitch Cat. Super Glitch Cat World recently. And the last, second to last level, I think you you had to like be pretty proficient with the springboard jump. Um, and I always sucked at it. Like, you, it, you learn it in, if you play through Learn to Kaizo. But I did it, but I never really understood it. Um, ah. But it, that, that, that level, you have to do, like, two of them. And I finally, like, buckled down and practiced and learned the spring jump. Oof, okay. But yeah, it's like... Whenever you're faced with like an obstacle like that, you kind of like that forces you to learn it. Forces you, forces you to learn a mechanic. It's kind of cool. God, what am I doing? So now I feel way much more confident with spring jumps. They are really tricky to do. I think the way I do it is like before I jump off the edge, I'll like do something like that where I'll run and then before I jump, I'll like hit left and do that. And then before I reach the maximum of my height, I'll like hold right and then throw the springboard. Oh my god, that's a little tricky. But yeah, it's crazy. So I've realized too, I've been playing Kaiser Mario for about like a year now. Um and it's, it's been, you know, it's been a fun journey. I, I've probably mentioned it before how I started playing Celeste. SMC as like my first Kaizo hack. Um, before that, I was playing some other just standard hacks. Oh, you're making me do a double shell jump. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm a little rusty with a double shell jump, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, first hack I played was Celeste SMC. I highly recommend that too. Um, Oh, sorry, wait, let me correct that. Before I played Celeste SMC, I played some other standard hacks. I think it was like Princess Rescue something, whatever. Just some random hacks I found on like uh, romhacking.net. Uh, before I even discovered SMW Central. Because, um, yeah, I mean, I was a casual Mario player, and I enjoyed just playing like casual games. And they're, they are very fun if you don't want to get into Kaizo. However... I highly recommend checking out Celeste SMC, and just just be just be try to work on beating the first level. There we go. Woo! Oh, I thought you could walk on that. Okay, we got this. Um, yeah, try it. If if you if you're like new to Kaizo. You know, and this is actually probably a good discussion for playing a beginner hack. Um, try out Celeste SMC. Try out the first level. Maybe that's a bad recommendation, but I it doesn't require any kind of stupid, like, 
Kaizo jargon, you know, uh, knowledge. Oh boy. Okay, that's, don't do that. Um, yeah, it doesn't require any, like, background Kaizo knowledge. Uh, it's it pretty much for the first level of Celeste SMC, you're pretty much just using the new chocolate mechanics uh, that's familiar with, like, the actual game Celeste. Oh, that's such a rough jump. Um, but then later, Celeste SMC definitely does introduce, like, Kaizo mechanics, like disco shells and greedy grabs, you know, all, all the sort. So, if you're, like, a straight beginner, I don't actually recommend playing through Celeste SMC, but give the first level a try. It, it introduces, like, the difficulty that's expected with Kaizo, and, like, the constant failure, you know, dying, retrying... And then I think after that, I was just kind of influenced, or more motivated, inspired, whatever, to play, uh, like, you know, the action, like, other Kaizo hacks. And that's where I found Learn to Kaizo. I was like, surely there must be a good hack to learn how to play Kaizo. And there's a few of them. I think there's Learn to Kaizo, which is what I played, uh, Two Kaizo to Learn, which is, like, a more modern version of it, um, which might be a little bit better. Um, goodness, what the heck? Because uh, two Kaizo to learn, you can kind of select which level you want to do. It's definitely better for somebody who's played through the game. Like, if you're revisiting certain mechanics, like sometimes I'll go back and practice double shell jumps. Um, two Kaizo to learn is definitely better for that, just because it's easier to select the level. Dude, man, the momentum is so strict with that. No, dude. I think I'm throwing the shell too late. So I'm not doing something right here. Um, and then one hack I actually have not played is uh, Panga's Kaizo Kindergarten, Kindergarten Kaizo, whatever it's called. Uh, I played it a little bit, and it actually is very educational. Like you're gonna learn a lot about Mario World and that. And I actually I need to play through that because uh, Panga pretty much like dissects um, what makes Mario World work. So, like, any I think anybody could find something to learn from Kindergarten Kaizo. Even if you're, like, a, ve like a complete veteran. Um, it's a lot to learn. Dude! That jump is rough, man. But yeah, good way to build up your Kaizo skills. And obviously, you, you can see I still kind of suck now, <laughs> you know, a year under my belt and I'm still struggling with, you know, certain things, you know, it's it, it's part of the fun, it's part of the fun. Like, you're going to, part of Kaiza Mario is you are going to experience a lot of failure, but you get to experience a lot of cool hacks like this one, you know, it's a lot of cool content out there to explore. There we go. Oh, come on, man. Why? Yeah, dude. Okay. Ah, uh, put that backwards. Okay. All right. Let's hold jump. Let's go. I just had to quit flapping my app, and then we got through it. <laughs> Not sure how many exits we're at now. Shardar Snowgoth. What do we got? Collect all coins, okay? Um, 
Oh, we need the shell for those coins, I think. Uh, let's just go through and see what we got. Ow. Do I need that? Ooh. Surely there's no coin behind this dude, right? No. Um. What is this? Uh, was there something they're not understanding? Does that count as a coin? Um. Oh, you need the guy in it, and then you could jump off him, I think, right? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. No, I need the shell, dude. There's also... We also don't have a ton of time. What the heck? I don't understand what's up with this. I thought it was like a snake block you like activate. Um, and I'm guessing you shell jump here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not tracking what to do here, dude. I need this guy. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. This is very weird. I, I don't understand this level. I need this dude, no? Um, I, I'm not really understanding this. Maybe I need to like run to the end. Oh, I need all the coins though. I'm, I'm not understanding this at all, man. So what happens here? No, okay, wait. Am I overthinking this? If you shell jump up there, it's not going to work because the shell is going to lose its momentum, right? Do I need... I, I, I think I need the Koopa and the shell? Um... I, I've never seen a level like this. What if I just run to the end? Let's just see how that works. I think it's gonna awaken before that, yeah. Why is the Koopa in here? Is there a way to like reset the timer? I know for like bob bombs and stuff you can like kick it and it resets the timer. But it looks like it's not the case with this. Dude. Um, maybe I don't need Koopa. Let's look at this. If I shell jump, then it loses its momentum. 
right? I think I'm like way overthinking this. I'm like really stumped on this level. Like, I, and I don't think there's a way to get him back in the shell. Um, because if so, maybe if he could jump here. Is there like an invisible block with a shell in or I had another shell. What am I missing here? No. Dude, I am like really confused. Collect all coins. That's all it really says. But do I need? I ha I have to need him, right? I I I I'm pretty sure I need that dude. Um. And this is confusing to me. Is there another one right here, maybe? No. I'm a, I think I'm like really overthinking this. Huh. You know what? Maybe there's a reason why this block is here, this hollow block. Right? Oops. I might have an idea. I don't think it's gonna work, but... Like, this guy's gonna awaken no matter what. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that, but can I just set this on here? I can. But what does that do for me? Can I like nudge it maybe? No. What? Hmm. Dude, this is this level stumping me, man. Okay, so I think I have it figured out uh, for how to restart the timer on this on the shell. I noticed if you put the shell here and then you hit it, boop, not like that. If you put the shell on that block and then you hit it with the throw block, it resets the timer. Never knew about that. Oh shoot, we need to hit this. No! Oh, come on, man. Completely forgot about that Kaizo you have to hit. Yeah, I did not know about this mechanic. I think in a lot of Kaizo hacks, you don't really see... I mean, I've never really seen like resetting of like Koopa 
shelled Koopas, how do we call it? There we go, and this should be able to do it. <laughs> if that wasn't bad, then yeah, that would that would have done it. Um, but yeah, this is really interesting. This is a very interesting mechanic. And you kind of have to be fast because you're up against the clock with, you know, the guy coming out of the shell. Okay. Okay. There we go. GG. Flying Caverns. This looks fun. I do play Claw, by the way. Shoulder button be pressed. Ooh. Ah, oh, I'm familiar with this. I know all about the, uh, the Mario C. What? What am I doing here? Uh, okay, that's what I'm doing. Uh, uh, okay. So that all seems pretty cool so far. Ugh. Oh, the coin's there, because you have to lead the disco. Got it. Ah, oh, man. This is tricky, dude. So it's gonna the the shell is gonna get stuck above me once I fall. All right. Do I need that. What's going on here? Oh, I see what's going on. I think. Oh, I was. You're supposed to hit that. The question mark block with the wings with a zero block. That's what's going on. Ooh boy. There we go. That's what I thought. Ooh. Oh, wait. We're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, we can throw block that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get the shell. Okay. It's fine. Ooh. I don't like that. No, I don't like that either, man. Come on. I think that's the end of the level right there. <laughs> I was like, did I screw that up? Yeah, I did. Oh, 
Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I got scared by the disco. Scared by the disco. Oh boy. Cambridge Castle V2. V2. Was this in, um. Kirikaiza? I don't remember. Ow. I think it was. I recall this song. Mega Man ZX Green Grass. Green. I think I played Mega Man ZX on, like, the, the DS, like, years ago. Sounds familiar. Well, let me check something real quick. Okay. Ow. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yo, what are you doing, man? Gonna hit me with that, that dink dink. I think I need both those. Yo. What? Oh, it's like, what's going on? Uh, okay. Ooh. He's a happy little guy. It's a little guy. Ah. I like that little. What is it? The, the, the thwimp? Oh, I can't remember what they're called. He's a sweetie. Um. What? What am I doing here? Uh. I think. Okay. What the heck is? What am I looking at? <laughs> what is that? So, okay, so... Let me try to understand this. So, objects are attached to different objects. And then this P... So, this P-switch has a fireball attached to it? Okay, um... Let's think about this. So, that shell's gonna bounce. So we're gonna have to jump on it. Uh... We're gonna have to hit that P-switch at some point, right? Or do we throw the P-switch up? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we throw the P-switch up to hit that on-off, right? Because what else are we going to throw at it, right? Gotta be it. It's gotta be it. No. Okay, well, okay. What happens when I hit this? Woo! Alright. We definitely want to throw it up. Can't even jump on it. Well, we could spin, jump on it, right? Oh, got it. All right, throw a P switch up, hit the on off, hit the on and off, the on off switch, toss it to the right, and then we're gonna spin jump on the P switch. Well, that's really nice. That means we don't have to uh, do a yump. It's really nice. I think I messed that up. Yeah. No, you gotta throw it and then do a spin jump. If you, because you can't do a spin jump while holding. Nope. Oh man, I think I'm throwing it too late. Ow.
Um, I'm definitely throwing it too late. That is tricky, man. A little, well, not too tricky, but the timing's a bit tricky. Uh, I need to throw it before I land on the platform. Nope, not like that. No! Oh, it's because I was holding on to grab or run? No, I think I should have bounced off it, right? Maybe I, okay, maybe I just landed at it at a wrong angle. Like that. I think I am, I think I'm fine holding on to run. No, dude. Ugh. Yeah, that that is so tricky. You gotta keep the keep up momentum there too. There we go. <laughs> what is this? Uh okay, I think we're just gonna grab that shell and do a shell jump. I think the, the movement is just really dang weird. Like what is that? Okay. I think we're good though. I think we're solid. Ah. Man. Oh boy. Up. Okay. GG. We got more, man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Why? Why would you do this? Do I need that spring? Jump? This is so awkward. I don't like this. <laughs> no, no. Um, I wonder if you could take the springboard. I don't even know if it would matter. No, you don't want to take it, I don't think. Well... We're gonna have to do a shell nudge, which we actually don't need to hold it, the actual shell. No, that's not how you do it. Wait. <gasps> Are we gonna need the springboard? What am I looking at right now? Yeah, what is this? Oh, I have an idea. Okay. There's a coin there. Why is there a coin there? I think there's an invisible block. I think, okay. I think we're going to need the springboard, actually. And then if we put it underneath that coin, I think there's going to be a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, we don't need the springboard. I think we're actually good. I thought it was going to be a block. If it was a block, I think we actually might need the springboard. What? <laughs> what was different about that one? I don't think we need the springboard. Oh, well, we got the springboard. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what the heck is that, dude? Um, I don't know what spawns the mushroom. I don't know, like, what triggers it. No, 
not really seeing where to do that at. Oop. Man. Maybe if I actually grab the coin? No, I don't understand. I spawned the mushroom once. I don't I'm not I'm not getting it, man. I'm just trying to spawn the mushroom. I'm not even really trying to do this part right now. I don't get it, dude. There we go. <gasps> I thought it was gonna land on the spikes, man. I think you really just have to like jump at the end of that platform. No, didn't happen that time, dude. I'm not, dude. I'm not getting this, man. I don't, dude, this is, I don't know why this mushroom ain't coming out. Am I too high, maybe? Maybe I'm not high enough? Um... At least I got it to spawn again, but I'm not really. I don't. I'm not, I'm not really familiar with how the spawning of this works. Um. Okay, so I, it might be below the coin. I think the spawning might be below the actual coin. If it's. If the spawning of like the mushroom works as if it, it gets to be in a certain tile, then the coin might occupy that tile, and it might be below it. Yeah. Okay. That's my problem. You wanna the sh the mushroom will come out while Mario is descending, not while he's going up. See? There we go. Okay. I get it. I get it. Makes sense. God, I'm so bad, man. Please grab it. Please grab the mushroom. This. Alright, what am I doing here? So, I could grab the shell, land on the question mark block, throw the shell to the behind me, and then shell jump onto those beans, it looks like. Man. This is a pretty, sh this is a pretty rough hack. I would say... If you're a beginner looking for like an easy, like an easier beginner hack, this might not be the easy hack to play. I mean, I've, I've done a, a handful of intermediate hacks now, and this one's pretty, uh, this one's pretty challenging. I would say it's like borderline intermediate with some of these things, especially with some of these setups. I, I've just, I've never seen some of these setups. You do that, man. Ooh, boy. Okay. Um.
Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's the right idea, right? This is cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Ooh. Oh man. Okay. Oh, I messed it up. I think on that second jump, we're gonna want to take the lower path of these snake blocks. Cause right now it's death, and then it goes to normal, right? Yeah. See. Ah. <gasps> I think we have to hit that on and off block multiple times. I think we hit it multiple times and then a shell's gonna drop. Okay. Oh man, come on. Too close to the wall. Too close to the wall, man. What am I doing? Oh, I missed him. Yeah. Dude. I don't know why I'm messing that up so much. I just need to back away from the wall. Or not. That, okay, that wasn't even a wall problem. That was me throwing the shell too early. What is a shell jump for 200, man? Like, what am I doing? Here we go. See? That was gonna kill me. Man, this is a long castle, ain't it? Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What the heck's going on, dude? Game is lagging. I might die, because I didn't really time my star correctly. Hey, GG, man. Hey, let's go, man. That's it. Cute, cute Z U L D as show. Created by Slopcore. All right, man. So. Um, can I jump on those beans? I can. <laughs> what does that say? I want to see what's behind those beans. Oh, cute Kaizo world. So wait, I think... Maybe these are the same credits as cute Kaizo world? I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, I'll just walk through the credits. Really awesome hack. Really cool. I, I For a beginner hack, I think it's borderline intermediate. Not for any of the shell tricks, but because of, I think some of the setups were a bit trickier. Um, I guess still beginner, but, like, probably the thing that got me stumped the most was the, uh, that, that level, the level with the shell and the Koopa in it. Um, it was just really tricky uh, trying to figure out how to how to reset the shell. I, I I've just never seen that mechanic. So for me personally, I I learned something on that level. <laughs> Definitely learned something. Um, but I overall really like the sack. Super fun. Uh, definitely want to play through it again. Um, thank you to my Twitch chat for supporting me. Thank you for playing and being kawaii. Hell yeah, brother! Give him the hell yeah, brother! What we got here? 
Is there more? What is all this? Oh, is this like level select? Oh, that is really cool. Okay, so he has it back at level one. So yeah, really awesome game. Um, I would recommend it for a more seasoned beginner player, or if you've you know played more intermediate, then maybe try it out. I I'd say this is good for a seasoned, a little bit of, of a seasoned beginner player that has a few hacks under the, under your belt. Uh, definitely play through cute Kaizo first, maybe probably even cuter Kaizo. Um, and then you should be good for this hack. Okay, like, like I said, I think the the big blocker for me was just some some of the knowledge. Like, I, I didn't know how to reset the shells uh, for that coin collecting level. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this playthrough. Uh, thanks everyone for checking this out. Hope it was entertaining. Hope it was fun. Um, and yeah, feel free to check it out as well. And I will see you guys in the next playthrough. So until then, take it easy, and have a good one.